Hello YouTube, this is Kimpocalypse, and today I am very excited to have a Hisense H9G in my living room. And if I sound amazed, I really am, because one, this TV is phenomenal, and two, um, they're so hard to find. Uh, this is actually a 55 inch. The 65 inch that I wanted was unavailable, and uh, to get this one, I actually had to order from an online retailer we normally don't deal with. Normally I deal with Best Buy or some, somewhere like that, but it, it was unavailable and they're supposed to be on back order. But amazingly, I, I did get this one and I got it in. Uh, the reason I haven't put a video up about it sooner is because it was ordered like three weeks ago. When the first one came in, it was damaged in here like this. Then the second one came in a week later, the replacement, and it was damaged. So the third one, uh, I think they kind of got the hint and um, they sent this one in and the box was perfect, the screen's perfect. So I'm very happy with it so far. And I think they got the hint that if uh, they didn't give me a good TV, I'm not ordering nothing from them anymore. So um, that being said, um, this TV is amazing. It's actually so amazing that it's replaced my TCO 8 series that I had. And everyone that's watched my videos know that I bragged about that TCO 8 series because it reminded me of like the Samsungs of 2017, 2018, you know, the Q8 FN and Q9 FN. And I compared it to the Q9 FN because of the picture quality, the brightness, uh, the picture clarity, everything. And uh, and that was back when Samsung was making good TVs, the Q9 FN. And I'm not talking about the crap that Samsung puts out now to try to shove down people's throats that ain't any good. So um, I think Samsung's on the offensive a little bit because TVs like this one is coming out. This TV uh, does better than the 8 Series in almost every way. Uh, the motion is excellent. Uh, the color is bright and vibrant the the brightness of this tv is just unreal but it's not so bright that it loses detail um also the black levels on this tv i bragged about the black levels on the 8 series and the 8 series had really good blacks because it has the mini leds instead of regular leds well this tv has regular leds and it the black levels are better uh i think they're using a better algorithm because like in, in the in the black spots, there's no blooming, like at all. Like I could have a, a white whatever in the middle and then around it will be black and there'll be no blooming around the, um, around the object itself, like at all. Um, so the algorithm they're using for their local dimming is, is awesome. I don't know what they're doing, but I mean, it is awesome. Let me see if I can get this to where I want to. You can see I have two windows in the back. Okay, so there's Dolby Vision, of course. I like that it pops it up and shows you. Uh, this scene right here, I, I will tell you, this is a very bright TV, and my TV, I'm, I mean, my camera is picking up, like, the white, the bright spots, and it's overblowing them. There's detail right here in these clouds. There's detail back here. You can see the individual clouds and the rows of clouds in the back. It's not that overblown as my camera. Uh, right here, it is that bright, but on the TV, it's detailed. You can see every little thing about him. You can see, you can even see like, you can see his arm like right here. It's it's just phenomenal that you can see so much detail in this picture. Um, I wanted to choose this because this is a bright scene and uh, it actually shows off, you know, the brightness of this TV. It's very bright. I'm, I can't get over how bright it is. It's brighter, just as bright or brighter than the, the TCO8 series. Now up here in the black bars, that is like solid OLED black and there's no like blooming at all, like none. If you see any blooming, it, it's on the camera. There, none, absolutely none, like OLED black. Um, this TV is, it's excellent. Um, the colors on it is great. The screen uniformity is, I don't know if I won the panel lottery. It is perfect. There's no vignetting in the corners. The 
the picture is bright, crisp, and detailed. Um, I can't say enough about this TV. And for it to be under $1,000, even the 65, this is the 55. So, you know, it was cheaper. But even the 65 is under $1,000. And the picture quality you get, I'm, I mean, I'm just going to say this, that, you know, big companies like Sony, um, Samsung, LG, all of them are, you know, they're, I'm going to say they're running scared. And the reason I'm saying that, and I know I'm going to get a bunch of backlash from comments of people. It's like, oh, Samsung's the best thing ever. N no. Um, so this TV, TCLs, budget TVs are, have come a long way. You do not have to spend $3,000 on a Samsung TV to get great picture quality. This one right here has great picture quality. Um, it is, uh, I mean, I wish that I could show each and, indiv each and every individual watching this video, I wish I could show you just this, the clarity of the picture. The, okay, see this Netflix? Um, on the screen, this Netflix is like super, super bright white with the bright red in the middle of it. Uh, I had to turn my camera down a little bit on the brightness so it wouldn't like blow it out because if not, it was like, whew. I mean, it was like all you could catch was the glare on the camera and you couldn't even read it. So I had to turn the brightness down a little bit. But every, everything on this TV, and it's snappy. I've never had a, a I've had a few Sonys, okay? But I've never had an, an Android operating TV that was this smooth. I mean, i uh, it, it's just, and when you pick something, okay, boom. Also, I have two windows in the background and it's very bright outside. No, that Netflix is not orange. It's actually bright red. The camera's making it look orange. I need, should turn the brightness down a little bit more. But let's see if I can get this. To, I want to hurry up and do it so I don't get a, okay. Yeah, see, I got my, my brightness turned down, exposure turned down. That way you could see it because if not, everything looks, it's like blinding the camera. This picture right here is so colorful. She has bright golden hair. You can see the, the rosy red on her cheeks where she's cold. You can see the pink, uh, pink dark pink and light pink right here. Um, let's see if I can get a picture of him without getting a copyright. Oh, there we go. Uh, like I said, I got it turned down, but I mean, he is so, he is like super bright green. It's just unbelievable. Um, uh, but anyway, this is just a first impressions video. I didn't want to get too much in depth because there's so much I want to do with this TV. I've played games on it. I've watched all kinds of content, Dolby Vision, HDR10, SDR content, and everything on this TV looks great. Um, so, um, the, my next video, I'm going to put a little thing up, whether y'all want to see game settings or you want to see uh, movie settings, but I've gamed on this TV, and the input lag is so low. Like, I, I play Gears of War and Call of Duty. Call of Duty is super responsive. Gears of War, of course, doesn't have to be responsive, but the, watching the characters run across the screen is so smooth. Uh, it's just unbelievable. Um, so we're going to get into that in the next video. But I wanted to get this up. Uh, I've got it, and I've, you know, I've got it set up. I've got it tweaked the way I want it. So I'm very, very excited to put out some videos about it so I can show y'all. If you can, I'm I'm just going to flat out tell you, if you can find one of these, snatch it up. They are so hard to find. But anyway, uh, this is Ken Pocalypse. Uh, you know, like my video, share my video, and subscribe, and I'll have more for you next time.